You're watching Western New York's News Leader. Now, live from Buffalo, this is News 4 Wake Up. Before your health this morning, welcome back. We are joined by Dr. Sandra Siminski, an assistant professor at UB and the director of the Glaucoma Service at Ross Eye Institute. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. We're, of okay. course, talking about glaucoma, the importance of understanding what it is, how to diagnose it, how to recognize the signs, because we are wrapping up Glaucoma Awareness Month, uh, the month of January. First, give folks just an idea, because people might think they know what glaucoma is. What is glaucoma, and what are some of the warning signs? So glaucoma is a disease of the optic nerve. It causes progressive optic nerve damage. It's usually caused by high eye pressure, and that's really what the focus of our treatment is. Um, in my eye model that I brought here, um, I uh, wanted to just point out the fact that uh, eye pressure is really caused by a circulation of fluid and a buildup of fluid in the eye. Uh, uh, fluid is actually constantly produced in the eye and drained in the eye and a lot of what glaucoma is is a faulty drainage system. This causes uh, damage to the optic nerve which leads to peripheral vision loss and eventually uh, total blindness if it's not treated. So is there any particular age group that should be more aware of any kind of these warning signs? We typically think of glaucoma as a disease of the elderly, mm -hmm. but it can actually affect all types of pop, uh, populations. Children can get glaucoma, young people can get glaucoma. I would say that some populations that are at highest risk are African Americans, uh, Hispanics, and also patients with a family history of glaucoma. So normally my patients who have a family history, I tell them it's very important to uh, keep up with your screening. And that screening is, of course, important, but also our recognizing some of the warning signs. If I wake up on a particular day and I feel X, what is it that, that I should notice or what is it that I should be thinking of if I start developing some of these symptoms? What are these symptoms and what should I do about them? Well, it's interesting you bring that up because uh, largely in the U.S., uh, open-angle glaucoma is the uh, most common form of glaucoma. And uh, this really is asymptomatic. Mm -hmm. So you can lose peripheral vision very slowly uh, without really any warning signs at all. And it sort of hones into sort of a tunnel vision where you actually lose your central vision at the end. And you can't really get it back once you uh, have those uh, signs of loss. So there are other types of glaucoma, like acute angle closure glaucoma, where people do uh, present with pain. Uh, but that's not as common as the open angle glaucoma. So really kind of a dangerous aspect of that is that this happens little by little by little to the extent that you may not even notice how bad things are until it's essentially too late. So what are some of the treatment options for people? Well, normally in the clinic, we treat this uh, type of disease with drops uh, in the early stages. The drops help decrease the fluid production or help increase the drainage of this fluid uh, to decrease the pressure on the optic nerve. There's also lasers in the clinic that we can use. Um, but in some of these uh, hard-to-treat glaucomas, we do need to take these patients to the operating room for surgery. Uh, there's different surgeries like shunts and uh, uh, drains that we can place. Um, and also there's laser therapy called micropulse laser uh, that we can uh, do in the operating room as well. And at the Ross Eye Institute, my partner and I actually offer all of these treatments uh, for glaucoma. So there is some good news here because there are treatments available. It's just as a matter of someone being diligent enough and understanding their body enough to get, uh, get checked out to find those symptoms, to recognize those symptoms. And of course, we have more information about how to contact the Ross Eye Institute and also about glaucoma. It's all on our website, wivb.com. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Thank we really you so much. It. it was great having you.